Did you know that children as young as 13 in Wales are being asked when they first had sex in a questionnaire that's been described by Safe School Alliance as poorly designed, incompetent, ridiculous and which will yield no usable data? The Welsh Government has said to have wasted £1,137,584 of public money on a poorly designed survey which failed in its safeguarding first approach. There were allegedly so many things wrong with the survey that other outlets were unable to cover them all, with questions that were triggering or damaging to children in a box-ticking approach to inclusion. I love the way that they talk about inclusion, communities, coming together, diversity, whilst at the same time actually dividing people more and pitting them against each other. And the best part is there are so many people out there who can't even see it happen. But it's so obvious. The questionnaire is said to ask children how they identify, but not for their by actual biological sex, which of course would make the data utterly worthless and which could be dangerous and confusing to young kids. Personally, if I was a, if I was a Welsh father and my child was going to one of these schools, I would tell him to get all of his mates to tell him that he identifies as a forklift truck. How can I prove that he's lying? Same way they can't prove anyone's lying when they self-identify. The survey is said to start with some virtue signalling statement, but despite that, there is no acknowledgement of the reality of some children's families. Safe School Alliance said that the worst part of this survey is serious child protection issues being presented as neutral or even desirable scenarios. This is a failure of safeguarding, a failure of quality control, a failure of ethics and a complete dereliction of duty. The entire thing is appallingly written and bizarre, conflates different issues and will result in no usable data or in any benefit to disadvantaged children. Now bear in mind that I believe the Welsh Government has removed parents' legal rights to remove or prevent their child from attending sex and relationship lessons which are now said to be compulsory in Welsh schools from the age of five years old. Which is exactly what we want to do. Teach our children from the age of five that sex is fine. So when the next paedophile rolls down the road in his fake ice cream van, we can be sure to know that our children understand all about sex. Now, in June last year, the Welsh Government asked for feedback on its proposed relationships and sexual education statutory guidance and code in advance of the introduction of the new curriculum for Wales in 2022. The new code will apply to all maintained schools, nurseries, pupil referral units and local authorities in Wales, in which the Welsh Government has defined sex as assigned to a person on the basis of primary sex characteristics and reproductive functions. Some people's gender identity does not match up with their sex they were assigned at birth. Sometimes the terms sex and gender are used interchangeably to refer to whether someone is female, male or non-binary. Yeah, because that's not going to confuse a five-year-old. And they describe sexuality as a central aspect of being human and encompasses sexual orientation, gender identities and roles, sex reproduction and intimacy. Sexuality is experienced and expressed through thoughts, beliefs, behaviours and relationships. Both statements are unclear and misleading to children, especially those that are in a nursery. Specifically, when you think about primary sex characteristics, they are binary for practically 100% of the population. But yet the Welsh Government suggests that word sex can also be used to describe someone as non-binary. I mean, I guess they would be a genuine non-binary if they were castrated and had their male sperm ducts and the like removed. But even then, their genetics would identify their sex as male. I mean, nobody's going to dig us up in a 10,000 years time and try to work out or even have a test to determine whether someone was once a male, female, non-binary, trans or whatever else. This is the reality that people are going to have to face and wake up to. Instead of trying to confuse children of an age where they should simply be enjoying themselves, not being made depressed and given mental health problems. The RSE guidance states that all schools and settings must teach RSE in a neutral, factual way 
where questions of values arise, they must present learners with different perspectives on a range of views and issues commonly held within society. Well, if it's a factual way, then perspectives and views are not factual. It is somebody's opinion. For example, schools may teach about different perspectives within faiths on matters of relationship and sexuality. However, this must not be done in a way that seeks to indoctrinate learners into a particular view. You know, whatever fucktard wrote this guide is clearly an uneducated moron. Because the concept of gender identity, as I say, is not one that has a neutral, factual definition. And presenting learners with different perspectives on a range of views on issues commonly held within society is not factual. Now, there is a lot to both the recent survey and the RSE consultation for the New Welsh Curriculum, which has already started. But I urge you, especially if you live in the place, follow the link in the description and as you work through the page, follow the link near the bottom of the page where it says we have previously written about ideological capture within the Welsh Government for, which undermines safeguarding. The link that's on that line, it will take you to see exactly what amazingly dangerous and moronic things the Welsh Government are up to with your children, if you don't already know that is. In fact, based on the fact that, especially Labour, seem to want to follow in the footsteps of Scotland and Wales like a proud younger brother wanting to be just like his older sibling, which makes me feel sick by the way, we should all take a look at what governments are trying to do to our children, confusing them, causing them to feel different, leading them to depression and other mental health issues. Leave our kids alone to decide themselves what they want to be without having it forced upon them. I mean, look, providing adults are understanding and can be impartial, and the children know this, then they can come to us with their concerns about themselves when they're ready, not when it's forced upon them to make choices. This kind of cupid stunt makes me think the governments want to really, really dumb down our kids, because a child worrying all about this while they're at school to learn is not going to do well at school. Could this be what the governments want? I, I guess if more kids are dependent on benefits and the mental health system, then the government has even more control over people. I mean, we can't have any new generation coming through who could upset the apple cart now, could we? Thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.